The parasternal window is commonly the starting point for obtaining views of the heart. Start scanning in the left parasternal region, just lateral to the sternum from the second to the fifth intercostal spaces. The goal is to align the transducer beam with the long axis of the heart. The probe marker should be oriented toward the patient's right shoulder. While scanning, the image can be improved by slight rotation and tilt of the probe. In the parasternal long axis view, the following structures should be clearly visualized in the image. The left ventricle, left atrium, root of the aorta and proximal segment of the ascending aorta, right ventricular outflow tract and right ventricle, aortic valve, mitral valve, interventricular septum, posterior wall of the left ventricle, and the pericardium. The depth should be set so that the posterior wall of the left ventricle and the pericardium are included in the image. Once the parasternal long axis view has been obtained, rotate the probe 90 degrees clockwise to obtain the parasternal short axis views. The probe marker should be oriented toward the patient's left shoulder. The goal is to orient the probe so that the transducer beam is perpendicular to the long axis of the heart. Angulate the probe toward the apex or base of the heart to obtain short axis views at different levels. From the base of the heart toward the apex, the four short axis views are obtained at the level of the aortic valve, the mitral valve, the mid-ventricle or papillary muscle group, and at the apex. This is a parasternal short axis view at the level of the aortic valve. Observe the position of the left atrium, right atrium, right ventricle, aortic valve and tricuspid valve. The aortic valve is said to resemble the Mercedes-Benz symbol. This is also known as the Mercedes-Benz sign, which signifies a normal aortic valve having three semilunar cusps. This is a parasternal short axis view at the level of the mitral valve. Notice the position of the right ventricle, interventricular septum, and the mitral valve leaflets. This is a parasternal short axis view at the level of the papillary muscles. Observe the location of the left and right ventricles, the interventricular septum, and the papillary muscles. This is a parasternal short axis view near the level of the apex. In this view, only a small segment of the right ventricle and the apical region of the left ventricle are seen. The apical window is found in the region below the left nipple. Clinically, the approximate location of the apex of the heart can be found by feeling for the apical impulse in this region. The probe marker should be pointed toward the patient's left shoulder. The ultrasound beam should be pointed toward the patient's right shoulder. In the apical four-chamber view, the right ventricle, right atrium and tricuspid valve are on the left side of the image by convention. The left ventricle, left atrium, and mitral valve are seen on the right side of the image. The interventricular septum is visible as well as the lateral wall of the left ventricle. Activate color Doppler and observe the flow of blood during the cardiac cycle. Obtain the four-chamber view and rotate the probe 90 degrees to obtain the apical two-chamber view. In the apical two-chamber view, the left ventricle, the mitral valve, and left atrium are visible. Obtain the four-chamber view and rotate the probe 90 degrees to obtain the apical two-chamber view. In the apical two-chamber view, the left ventricle, the mitral valve, and left atrium are visible. The subcostal window is found in the region just below the xiphoid process. 
The subcostal view can be a viable alternative when image acquisition is difficult from the parasternal or apical windows due to body habitus. This view is also useful for a quick assessment for pericardial effusion. When obtaining subcostal images, it is best for the patient to lie in the supine position. Better images can be obtained when the abdomen is relaxed. If possible, ask the patient to place his or her feet on the bed with the knees elevated. To obtain the subcostal view, rotate the probe so that the probe marker is pointing toward the patient's left. Apply gentle downward pressure while aiming the transducer beam toward the heart. In the subcostal view, observe the position of all four cardiac chambers and both atrioventricular valves.